Hello, this is Charter Local Edition Northwest, and I'm your host today, Dana Cowley. My guest today is our state representative in the 8th District, Larry Haler. Thank you for nice joining you, us. Dan. Appreciate yeah. you being here. Well, thank and you. Let's talk about how this last session went. Okay. It was uh, hectic, and as usual, by the end of the session, I think we were all very tired and willing to get home as soon as possible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we did. We did. We were able to accomplish a lot this last session. I feel that the, uh, I was able to get the medical package through, which means that I was able to get medical residencies in the state revised, so that rather than all of the residencies be, being located in the Seattle Tacoma area, uh, we now have it such that the 1,500 residencies that are allocated to this state on an annual basis for people who want to become doctors to get their residencies. A hundred of them are going to be uh, located in the Seattle-Tacoma area rather than 1,400 out of the 1,500. And we're going to be dispersing the rest of those residencies out throughout the rural, rural, quote-unquote rural communities. And we are one of those rural communities. We're also to re able to revise it such that the University of Washington doesn't control uh, it exclusively. It is now run by all the three medical schools in this state. That would be University of Washington, uh, the Pacific Northwest uh, Doctor of Osteopathy School, mm -hmm. and also in the, the new and upcoming uh, WSU Tri City, uh, WSU uh, Spokane Medical School. So it's a forward looking. Move. Yes, very forward looking, yes. And you also wanted to talk a little bit about transportation. That's a little controversial. It has been, yeah. I, it was a very good package, but when it came from the Senate and was brought into the House Transportation Committee, the majority party, the Democrats, uh, stripped out almost all of the, the reforms that would have prevented uh, future pontoons leaking, uh, would have uh, prevented uh, the, the Eileen class of uh, ferry boats where we had ferry boats that were listing. Mm. Uh, and it was, the list goes on down the line. So those of us who had been thinking about it or even were looking at it, uh, we, we joined the majority of the Republicans as well as several Democrats that voted no on the package because without reforms, we're just spending money and not, and not getting our money's worth. Well, nobody likes that. No, they don't, no. So you've had a chance to come back and recuperate and get talking to the people in the Tri-Cities area. What are you hearing that they'd like you to work on for the next session? Well, what I've been hearing is, and I'm continuing to do this, is we're gonna be working with our national lab in trying to get a capital budget project for them uh, all the states that have national labs have been actively involved in trying to keep their national labs there, either th through capital budget projects, either helping to build a building or buy equipment. And I'll be working with uh, the other state representative, uh, Brad Clippert, and with Senator Sharon Brown. We'll be meeting with PNNL uh, in the near future to work out the, what kind of package they will, would like us to work on uh, mm. to help show that we do appreciate and we do want to keep our national lab here. Oh, it yeah. is a nation's Unstable largest. funding is a threat to science. It is, yes. And it is an, our nation's largest national lab. So we, we've got it right here and we need to keep it. I'll also be working with the LIGO folks, uh, with uh, the National Science Foundation, and getting an educational facility built uh, through capital dollars at the LIGO facility. The LIGO facility in Louisiana uh, they have a similar facility that's run by the National Science Foundation, and they get 20,000 plus visitors a year. Uh, oh. So I think that we have a very good chance of creating an educational situation for LIGO and bringing in a lot of school kids from all the way from kindergarten up to grade 20 and graduate school. And the tours are impressive that are offered. Yes, they are. They're very impressive, very yes. Yeah. Along with opening up the Manhattan Project, too. There's yes. just so much history and science for people to come and yes, learn. Yes, and this is, this is the center, I think, of history and science. Well, thank you. We appreciate you. you joining us. Thank you very much. This is our state representative, Larry Haler. I'm Dana Cowley. You're watching Charter at Local Edition Northwest.